Well, <laughs> as you can see, uh, the storm is here. Welcome to Primo Times. How you doing? We're gonna go take off and uh, hit the road, head up to the uh, nearest local coffee shop and uh, hang out just for a short bit, get uh, some tea inside me and maybe uh, a snack or so, and then uh, take off and uh, go check out uh, Boxy. If you didn't see Boxy, uh, yeah, I know it has a nickname already, whatever. Um, if you didn't see Boxy in the last episode, uh, it's uh, a potential next project with, uh, with myself. So <clears throat> let's uh, try and get out of here. And uh, I'm going to have to uh, clear just a little bit of uh, stuff here, even though I have my uh, winter boots on. Uh, we still have to move a bit of snow just to make it uh, easier to get the garage door shut again once I'm done. Okay, coffee all done, and uh, let's get on the go and uh, have some fun in this weather. I have trust in Vanny, and uh, if not, well, we'll have a show. Anyhow, this is going good. Let's have some fun.
Wow, Vanny is doing really good today. Uh, the roads aren't so bad. I don't consider it uh, the, all that bad anyhow. Uh, we're here about halfway point. This is uh, an area that I was at many times when I uh, drove highway truck. I uh, both used the washroom showers, bought some treats in here, uh, and even slept uh, next door here in their uh, truck rest area uh, many times. Uh, it goes back about 12 years now, almost. Anyhow, I'm going to scoot into the washroom, grab some snacks, and then we'll uh, continue the journey. See you shortly. Well, I gotta say, uh, not to be proud or anything, but if anyone out there uh, works for PepsiCo here in Canada, this stuff is absolutely uh, vital. This stuff is amazing. Uh, it, it tastes really good. Uh, the blue Mountain Dew is also really good, but uh, this has, I think, the most caffeine of any soft drink uh, not an energy drink, but a soft drink here that's available in Canada. And uh, two of these, and in about five or six hours, you're not sleeping. So I'm gonna sip on that. And of course, you can't uh, go wrong with uh, Reese's. And uh, that's my uh, awesome snack for the moment. Terrible, I know. If my mom was watching, oh. She would be shaking her head. Anyhow, let's get going. We're about halfway, I think. Uh, check the time here. Uh, well, no, a little more than half, a uh, little more than halfway to go. So let's do it and uh, chat to you soon.
Well, after meeting Dave and seeing the box truck, I think there is uh, some potential in uh, the idea of moving on to, uh, to something of that size. The obvious uh, nature of what you could do on the inside is just tremendous. And I don't see any reason why moving on to something like that would be out of reach. It isn't. The truck is in very good shape, as you could see from the video. I think overall, the, the work would be uh, much easier than in a small van project. In a van, you have to be very, very cautious of size of components, the type of components. With the box type truck like that, you can get away with using many different products, whatever you need to do to work. And I think I'm behind a tree shadow here. So at any rate, I'm going to think for a couple of days and uh, I've seen the truck. I did the journey during a snowstorm. As you can see now, the snowstorm has calmed down quite a bit here in uh, Toronto, Ontario. And uh, it's actually a very nice day out right now. It's, uh, you know, it's plus one degree, but uh, it's quite pleasant. Vanny made the trip just perfectly. Very good on the road. Very exciting uh, van to drive, but I think perhaps we're moving on to the next level. At any rate, folks, I really do appreciate you being with me again for this episode. And uh, I've got some thinking to do. I really do. I really believe on the inside that uh, I could make this work. I might have to try. Talk to you soon. Thanks again for being here. Hit a like down below, please. And if you have any suggestions on what I could do with uh, the box truck, please leave a comment. Say hello. I'd like to know who's watching. And if you have any comments, suggestions, questions, or anything, let me know. Let's be in touch. Take care.